Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at Monster Hunter World Iceborne for the PC. I have played the game a little bit on the PS4 in the past, so we got a little bit of familiarity with the controls. And I have talked my wife into buying this game, so we're going to do a group hunt at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around till then. Uh, it's a lot of fun playing this game. Playing any game with her is fun, but uh, this one is no exception. I've also got a friend who has this game and we've been playing it together, so I will get him to join us in some of the upcoming footage. So right now we're just making our character. Uh, I wanted to name her after my dog, so I named her, I tried to go with Anya the Destroyer, but had to go with Anya the Brutal instead because uh, it, Anya the Destroyer was just slightly too long. Uh, then I uh, was very ecstatic to realize that there was uh, just as much in-depth creation for your cat uh, as your character, so I spent just as long. Uh, I've got that sped up for you. So we don't sit here for the full... Uh, 30 minutes or so that we spent editing our character. So we try to make our cat look like our dog, Luffy. He's a uh, black and tan Sheba. But we are almost done with the editing, and then we'll give him a name real quick. Uh, the Goat, because the cat is the greatest of all time in this game. <laughs> Alright, just landing in Astera. Just got off of Zora Magdaros' back for the first time. And we're gonna look around, see what the game has to offer. on this game. It came out in 2018, I think. And it's still better looking than a whole lot of games out there. Definitely makes it easier to play. And the frame rate does not suffer. I don't think I've had any stuttering. At least not yet. Alright, so we're going to push through these vines, see if we can spot our first enemies. I think she hears something. Nope. Yep, there we go. It's just one of them, right? So we'll be totally fine. Oh, oh maybe, maybe two, maybe three, four of them? Oh. Maybe like 70... <laughs> 80 of them. Yep. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll be fine. Uh, wait, did we bring a weapon? I don't think so. Not to this part. Let's get out of here. Oh, hide in bush. Fortnite strat. So down. Are, are, we, are you sure we're safe here? Okay, okay. That was really close, but I, I think we're... I think we're in the clear. All right, let's see if we can't go finish this tutorial. Let's 
Scratchins. Something's been here. Oh, and it's looking at us. What, is, what am I doing? Running straight at him. What am I gonna do? I guess I jump on it and punch it in the head. Oh, Don't somebody mind else me. is already on it. This way, hurry. Okay, let's go. Move. I'm coming. Yeah. That is not good. Uh -oh. What are you waiting for? Get over here. Big chicken dinosaur. Hey. Zero damage. Zero deaths. Perfect all right? run so far. Let's go. Okay. Ah. Uh, we've arrived back at the best place in Monster Hunter. The canteen. Look at that gigantic ham. Every day is Christmas for these guys. With that much ham. It's our buddy. Literally the cutest ever. Yes, confirmed. Cutest ever. So now it's time to pick a weapon. And I thought about it long and hard, and I'm going to go with the hammer. The hammer is really good if you like big numbers and you like stunning the monster uh, and hitting things in the head. All, all really good things for me. Um, to me, the worst part of the hammer is the fact that you have to charge, but it seems like every weapon has some type of charge mechanic, so I just I don't think that's unavoidable. Or I don't think that's avoidable. Anyway, uh, the best part of the hammer is the big bang attack that does a couple. Well, depends how strong your hammer is, but it does a lot of damage. It's your punisher, and you can use it just to knock stuff over, uh, even not as a punisher. So I'm probably going to be using a lot of the great hammer and the great sword. Because the great sword is basically the mascot weapon of this game, and I think it's probably the funnest. Alright. Let's see if we can't get back to it. Alright, this is our first job. Let's do a quick review of quest rules. Rule number one. Complete the objective to complete the quest. Easy, right? Sounds easy to me. Each quest has an objective. You can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Mm -hmm. Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Let's check the map. Rule number two, use the supply box. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. Ready to go. Uh -huh. Alright, so we've got our first little taste of combat here. It's Slay 7 Jagras. I'm still learning how the hammer works, but my main strategy in this fight is spin the win, uh, since there are so many of them. Looks like they're already retreating. See if we can't chase him. Nope, oh, not before I punch my cat. Never forget your materials. Uh, 
All right, here we are with the big pack. Let's do some spin to win. Oh, man. That was effective. Uh, I think we're just going to do that again. Yep. We hit the stun fly and killed six of them. There are four of them in this room. All right, one more. Let's just see if we can get a, a quick hit, maybe. There we go. Thank you. You can now depart on quests with other players via online session. Turn on voice chat function now. Sure. Okay, the monster's tired. Now's your chance to deal some serious damage. Head back and report to the old man. And that's going to do it for the group hunt. Hope you've enjoyed my wife and I's first hunt together in Moth Hunter World Iceborne. Hopefully there's many to come. And please let me know what you would like to see the most in the comments below. And... Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. I appreciate everyone watching. And I hope you all have a great day.